What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we have a few different teams to take on the brand new Clash Buggies Delivery. This particular event is obviously for the release of the Straw Hat Pirate Crew Legend character. If you were lucky enough to pull that character or you have that character as a friend captain for this quest, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. However, this particular Sugar Fest, as we know, not many people are choosing to pull on it. Therefore, not many people are going to have them up as their captains. Plus, we still have a Kizuna ongoing. So it's going to be kind of difficult to farm this content right now. However, this event will still be here, I think, until December 13th or something like that. So there is plenty of time to get your hands on this unit. I mean, I think uh, around that time should be the start of the treasure map as well. So yeah, there is plenty of time to actually get this character completely maxed out, ensuring that you get this guy done because he is going to be useful for content. So make sure to go ahead and get it done. Let's actually talk about this unit in general before we actually get into the team. So if we go over to our get date, my one is not max limit break just yet, but here we have the buggies delivery who is a int driven shooter character with their captain effect is going to go ahead and state that it reduces cooldown by one it gives three times attack 1.2 health to 30 cost or less or 50 cost characters which is actually not bad so basically like raid bosses i think some other like free to play characters are also 50 cost as well and then basically all rare recruits and below like it's it's pretty decent actually and then also gives a, a chance to give you a duplicate drop at the end of the quest it's not a guaranteed drop it's only just like a chance it'd be like 50 percent kind of similar to like uh, when baccarat the fortnite character was being used to dupe drop stuff uh not the best captain effect though the special ability will go ahead and reduce the crew's bind despair paralysis special bind attack down by two turns and then we'll change block bomb recovery and tandem to matching and give you a two times all boost for one turn it's a pretty good special ability actually and if you do partner it up with the straw hat pirates legend you do actually get a full board of slots with that unit when you use both specials in the same turn and this unit unfortunately does not have double special activation would have been absolutely crazy if it did considering the utility that this character actually has unfortunately not the case uh, it actually does remove blindness by five turns so you could potentially use this character as a crewmate for the upcoming content Content. we'll get to that in, in today's video but uh, anyways that is the rundown of the brand new buggy character pretty decent unit would have been nice if he had double special activation or a little bit better utility in terms of the amount of turns that it removes um, because as we've seen in the past it is a lot better to have just higher amount of turns but less utility rather than do everything but only by like one or two turns typically doesn't help out that much in today's day and age so let's go ahead now and jump over to the content with a few different teams against the buggy's delivery so jumping into this, first of all, we're going to have a Yamato 6 Plus team. Now, we are using a friend captain, Straw Hat Pirates. As I said a little bit earlier on in the video, if you do have access to them as a friend captain, definitely build a team around that. The really good thing about it is, is that the Straw Hat Pirates special ability literally remove every single piece of debuff on the final boss stage, as well as give you all your slots, as well as giving you an attack boost, as well as giving you color affinity definitely valuable to build around that so with this team here we essentially are just using straw hat pirates on the final boss stage and then all the other specials are basically centered around clearing the fight so stage three there's this mini boss buggy who has a perfect barrier and he also will apply blindness to you now after turn one if he does not die he gives you attack down and paralysis i think it's three turns of attack down and paralysis that he gives to your crew pretty annoying to deal with so idealistically you want to actually take him down on turn one otherwise you got to deal with some stupid shenanigans okay so now we move on to this stage with uh, Alvida and Mr. 3 we're using the raid Luffy to get rid of the special bind it also gives us an attack boost turn one gives us an orb boost on the final stage which works very well for the team and then also you can see they do have uh, four turns of increased defense and four turns of damage threshold this blue rare recruit Kruzan is fantastic because he removes both of those effects and if you don't have an attack booster on your crew, he gives you an attack boost to shooter and free spirit characters, which are the same classes as uh, the uh, Straw Hat Pirates, who are a free spirit character. Really good synergy there, so that's a really valid option to, uh, to go ahead and use. And then for the final boss stage, if you don't opt to use a Straw Hat Friend Captain, don't worry, there's going to be teams in this video that don't require that, but uh, you can go ahead and just think about what kind of things you want to be bringing for this particular fight because there is 
increased defense once again. There is damage uh, reduction. There is attack down potentially. There is tap limit potentially. There's like a couple of different things that he can activate. The defensive effects will always activate, but then there is a chance that he gives you attack down. If he doesn't give you attack down, he gives you recovery bind. If he doesn't give you recovery bind, he tap limits you. You can only use four characters to attack during that turn. And those mob characters that surround him are very annoying. They have 750,000 health. They have a perfect barrier or a great barrier or a good barrier. They're just really annoying characters to deal with. Um, you'll see in the next team that we kind of get through it a little bit easier uh, as we can use Goldie Roger special to just kill those characters off. But overall, uh, this is a pretty annoying fight, but the Straw Hat Pirates obviously make easy work of it. Moving on now to the second team of the video, and of course, as I mentioned just before, we are going to be using Goldie Roger as our friend captain here. Very nice unit to be bringing because his special ability can help you get around the uh, the, the final mobs on, on the boss stage, as well as guaranteeing us a full board of matching slots here on this fight against uh, the mini boss buggy on battle 3. Uh, Shanks crew are another valid option here as a captain because on battle 4 not only do you have to deal with those really annoying defensive effects but your crew is going to be special binded and Shanks crew is probably the best captain to be using in order to get around that because they just innately remove 10 turns of special bind for your crew. There's another character you could use, Halloween Ace, who also removes special bind as a captain, though probably not ideal to use a character such as that for this fight, as you want to predominantly be building mainly Psy characters, but you know, it really depends on the content, because you'll see that on the final boss stage, Buggy can become any color, which is why we're using Gemma Double Six to help us get around basically any color that the character will become. We're going to be able to get guaranteed type advantage against that. The Sum of Red Recruit Robin is used here on the Alveda and the Mr. 3 stage because it's able to remove those defensive effects off of the enemy, which is great. But then Bobbin is another phenomenal unit for this fight because he can remove all of the defensive effects on Battle 5 and also get rid of the attack down, which may be applied to your crew. So Bobbin is definitely a very useful unit here on this particular quest, as well as this Summer Robin, both of these units in general, being able to remove multiple of those defensive effects, very valuable units for this quest. The final unit on this team here is the Yamato as well, and Yamato is definitely not required, just as just an additional unit here. Just has to be a unit that gets rid of the block slots on the final boss stage. Really does not have to be this particular unit. Um, and also, we do use the Markino support attached to Shanks crew, which means that on Battle 3, when normally we're inflicted with Remove SFX or the Blindness debuff, we can get rid of it innately just because of that support effect, which really helps this quest in, in getting through it more efficiently. Moving on to the third team of the video, we're actually using Wano Law as the captain. I have not used Wano Law in a really long time, but I still consider him to be one of my favorite legends in the game. His captain effect is a little lacking in terms of the damage potential that you can reach, but his special ability is still amazingly good. Um, works very well with the Straw Hat Pirates though, because Straw Hat Pirates do not give you an orb boost. They give you color affinity, they give you an attack boost, they do orb change, but obviously they don't actually give you an orb boost, where Wano Law can do that, as well as giving you chain boundary. And once again, the characters on the crew uh, essentially here just to enable us to get around all of the other debuffs before we get to the final fight because Monkey D. Luffy and Law Special themselves is going to be more than enough to get around that final boss stage. We also do have Ace and Sabo and the Kuzan as crewmates here. Those characters in particular are really nice because we're able to use them efficiently to uh, barrier penetrate the characters on the final boss stage. So even though those characters do have very annoying barriers, the fact that we're at such high HP thresholds means that we can actually abuse their uh, barrier penetration to kill those guys and we really don't have to worry about them. Um, if, if worse comes to worse, you can just kill the buggy first and then you can kill the uh, the, the back guys on the, on the following turn. You definitely want buggy to die first. Make sure that happens. 
The Stronghold Frankie is mainly here because his crewmate effect actually re removes the blindness debuff. That's the only reason he's here, really. And then also, Kinemon is kind of here just for some cooldown reduction, but like, again, like, he's completely replaceable. As I said, you know, if you use Straw Hat Pirates as the friend captain, it really frees up lots of crew spots on your team for utility or damage potential. Now we're moving on to the final team of this video with Double versus Akainu. Now, Akainu is really good because his burn effect that he can apply will help you get through this content a lot easier. Not only does it help you with Battle 3, getting through that buggy fight, who really doesn't do that much after the first turn and below 20% doesn't do anything, but also helps you for the final boss stage because the burn will automatically defeat the mob characters because the burn will do the exact amount of damage that you need in order to actually kill those guys. Makes it a lot easier, you only have to target and kill buggy. But for this team as well, we do have the Bobbin who is really good for removing the defensive effect and the potential attack down on battle 5 but then we also have capone crew who remove special bind they remove threshold they give us an attack boost they give us a full board of matching slots definitely not required but definitely you know you could replace them with a character that just like a driven character that removes damage threshold that's what i probably would advise it to be because black maria on this team also removes special bind and the blue shield but then uh on the final boss stage we're going to have bobbin to remove all the debuffs we have a kind to give us the orb boost and the chain lock and his versus effect to give us the uh, 1.75 times conditional boost and then we also have who's who to give us a two times attack boost to our driven characters and as i said the burn effect of a kainu will automatically kill the back mob characters despite the fact that a kainu himself has barry penetration so you can kill them to make it faster if you don't do that though it doesn't matter the burn will still kill them but that is going to conclude this video today thank you very much for watching and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video